My name is Loki Jorgensen and I'm the CTO for LGT Medical. So this is Connect Edge. It is a software defined pulse oximeter in fact. If I plug in this sensor into the audio port of this iPad, it lights up. The audio signal from the iPad is actually driving this sensor. I can put my finger into the sensor and it will send light through the tissue of my finger and analyze the signal, giving it a few seconds to refine the results that it's measuring. And now it shows my blood oxygen level at 98% and my heart rate at 57 beats per minute. So typically the SpO2 values don't change very much. Heart rate may change and the real-time graph at the bottom captures those changes over about 30 seconds. What you can also see down here is in the rainbow colored bar is the strength of the signal. This shows how well the test is being run on my finger. As we leave this on my finger, all this data is being gathered and saved in the background. And what I can do is actually capture some of that. And it will, in this case, capture for about five seconds. And then I can go view that data. So here we have the data for the five seconds that the test ran. And I can collect many of these different data sets over time. In this way, I can monitor my SpO2 and heart rate values from instance to instance. I can also export this data, which allows me then to process that data separately on a PC or some other computer. There's a handy reference that gives an indication of the SpO2 values with respect to certain standards, such as typical heart rates or SpO2 values as they would normally be seen at different altitudes. The same software can be used on an iPad or an iPod or an iPhone, and all of them work equally well. They're clinically accurate to within a couple of percent of your actual SpO2 values.